So far, we've done videos on our seven greatest goalkeepers and right backs of all time, and today we continue the series, turning our attention to centre back. This is one of the most difficult positions to create a definitive list for of the lot, but we've given it our best shot. As always, a handful of honourable mentions can be found in the video description, but there are so many outstanding candidates that many great centre halves miss out even there. Here are our seven greatest centre backs of all time Marcel Desailly. The most recent inclusion in this seven, Marcel Desailly hung up his boots a little over a decade ago. Nicknamed The Rock because he really was a rock in defence, Desailly was a superb defender. We like our centre backs to be more than just stoppers. We're like a centre half who is solid at the back but can play a little bit too. Marcel Desailly, who played in midfield on occasion, certainly falls into that category. An intelligent central defender with a tremendous work ethic, Desailly was just about the complete centre back. Quick, strong, alert, brilliant in the air, and a smart reader of the game, he starred for the likes of AC Milan and Chelsea, winning the Champions League twice, and both the World Cup and European Championships with France. Neil Franklin By far the least well-known player in this seven, Neil Franklin is a footballer worth knowing about. We said we like our centre-halves to be able to play a bit, and few central defenders in the history of the game have as much talent on the ball as Neil Franklin. A quick-thinking centre-half with a real nous for being in the right place at the right time, he made defending look effortless. He was the first name on the England team sheet up until the 1950 World Cup, when he informed the England selectors he would be unavailable for selection. Franklin left England behind to make an ill-judged move to Colombia, and his career never recovered. Daniel Passarella The only man to have been in both Argentine World Cup winning squads, Daniel Passarella was a born leader and a titan at the back. He spent most of his career with River Plate, as well as spending six seasons in Serie A with Fiorentina and Inter Milan. Despite standing at just 5 feet and 8 inches tall, markedly short for a centre-back, Passarella was phenomenal in the air, and he was the top-scoring defender in world football until being surpassed by Ronald Koeman. Franco Baresi In terms of pure defensive talents, Franco Baresi may be the greatest centre-back of all time. His marking, tackling, determination and positioning were second to none. Marcel Desailly described him as his idol, and Paolo Maldini called him a role model. Baresi was deceptively strong. He was skinny and shorter than six foot, yet he was rarely outmuscled or outjumped. As with the others in this seven, he was far from just a stopper. Baresi was graceful and intelligent with the ball at his feet, often starting attacks for his team. He won three European Cups with AC Milan and the World Cup with Italy. Bobby Moore. England's captain when they were crowned world champions in 1966, Bobby Moore was an outstanding central defender. Jock Stein said there should be a law against him, as he knows what is happening 20 minutes before anyone else. Franz Beckenbauer called him the best defender in the history of the game, and Pelé called him the best defender he ever came up against. Moore was a calculating centre-back. An exceptional leader and reader of the game, he had a brilliant range of passing. Moore played for West Ham and Fulham, as well as playing for a few clubs in the US. He was named in FIFA's world team of the 20th century. John Charles The second and final Brit in this seven is the finest Welshman to ever take to the field, the one and only John Charles. This inclusion rules Charles out of the race once we reach our seven greatest centre forwards, but we'd rather have him at the heart of our defence anyway. The Italians nicknamed him the Gentle Giant, as Charles was of considerable stature, yet he rarely used his physical attributes, preferring to use his technical and mental qualities. One of the most versatile and complete players in the history of the game, the Leeds United Juventus and Wales legend was strong and brave, yet graceful and technical with the ball at his feet. Franz Beckenbauer We contemplated whether or not Franz Beckenbauer ought to be included in this seven, as he was really a sweeper rather than a centre-back. But as we won't be doing a seven for the sweeper position, there's no way the Kaiser could be left out of this series. The greatest German footballer of all time, Beckenbauer had it all. He was smart, he was a leader, he was an outstanding defender and an even better footballer. Having started out as a central midfielder, Beckenbauer became the finest exponent of the sweeper role in the history of the game. He won it all with Bayern Munich and West Germany, and Gerd Muller once claimed no one ever got past him. There might be a touch of hyperbole from his former teammate there, but Beckenbauer was certainly a class act, and he takes top spot in our seven. So that's it for our top seven. Some honourable mentions can be found in the video description, Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s.